I'm Jeff. I'm Robert for E3 Wise. Now what we're doing in these videos is we're talking to you guys about an article that we saw online called The Dirty Little Secrets of Solar Generators. From the PrepperProject.com. From the PrepperProject.com. And so what we're doing is we're going through and we're talking about a couple of those on each video. So what was number three? Our number three was that most ready-made portable solar generators cost way more than the components that are made from. Way more. Which way is more. true. And the reason is, is because usually they're not using made in America parts like we are, and they're using the cheapest parts they possibly can, and then sometimes marking them up three, four, or five times. Wait. What that means is, is some of our competition, we know what these components cost, and so we'll look at them, and we'll look at what they're doing, and if you can find out the information, you add it all up, and I've seen systems that have a little box from Home Depot, they put a car battery in it, they put some parts made from God knows where, and they're selling it for $9,000. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's completely insane. Now, another one of the major problems, and the number, dirty little secret number four, was most portable solar generators can't be repaired. Right. Which is true because, like Jeff was saying, they put them in a little box, like a little mystery box, and you don't know what's inside. It's a crapshoot, and you don't know if it's charged, charging, being used, or, or anything like that. And that's where we set the standard. What we did was we decided that if something were to ever happen to any of the components, we wanted to be able to repair them. Now, for these systems, you literally need a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver, uh, half one inch. half, uh, nine sixteenths. And five eighths. Five eighths wrench. wrench. And we can repair it all. Now, that may be important, but what's really more important is that all of our components are made in America, which means they have real warranty. So if something were to fail, then you could go ahead and replace it. But the thing is, is we should tell them. Out of all the units through the United States, Jamaica, and the Bahamas, we haven't had one fail yet. And Not that's one. because we make sure. We run it through in a very invigorous 15-day testing before it even leaves. And if something was within 3% of its normal rating, we rip it out and replace it so you don't have the problem. And that's where we're a little different from the rest. We don't just don't put it together and ship it out. We make sure we have sheets and we have you know, standards and set marks that we have to meet. And if it doesn't, then the unit doesn't go out. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the other dirty little secrets in our next video. If you want to look at these to see what we're referencing, it's the prepperproject.com. I'm Jeff. I'm Robert for E3Wise.